Hi guys, it's Tasha, and I'm back with another Christmas tutorial. This one is Christmas plaid. So I'm going with a more traditional plaid for this set, and I'm using number 45 from Ugly Duckling. This is one of our reds. This is more of a blue red. We do have number 47 that's more of an orange red as well. So once I've applied those two coats of red, I'm going in now with a mixture of a black gel polish, which is number 43, and base top to make it a sheer black. I'm using our angled student brush and I'm doing a thick rectangular line down the side of the nail. Once you've got that line drawn and you're happy with it, you're going to go ahead and pop it in the lamp for a full cure. Once that first line is cured, we're going to go back over it with a second layer of the sheer black and making sure that we follow the exact same lines that we created on the first layer. I'm going to go ahead and fill this in a little bit more just to make it a little bit more pronounced, a little bit darker, and you're going to go ahead and pop it in the lamp after for another cure. Now we're going back and we're going to do the horizontal lines of the plaid. So I'm starting near the free edge um, and I'm just going across that original line that we created. They're going to overlap and they're going to create kind of a square pattern where the two lines meet. And we're going to do this at the near the free edge and then we're going to do another line up near the cuticle. And same as before, once you're happy and you've got those lines in place, you're going to cure them. And we're going to go back in the next step and darken them up a little bit more. Now that we've got two coats on the horizontal and the vertical lines, we're going back now with more of the sheer black. I've added a little bit more black gel polish to the sheer black to make it a little bit more opaque. And we're going where the lines meet and we're going to darken up those squares a little bit more um, where the lines overlap. Once you've got your squares of black filled in, do not cure because we're going to go and take a toothpick in the next step and create a little bit more texture. So now in that uncured gel, I'm taking the tip of the toothpick and I'm creating um, a texture in those black squares. I have a shirt exactly like this kind of plaid or tartan. I never know what it's called. <laughs> um, so I'm just adding those in there. You don't have to. You can leave the square solid black if you want to. It's totally up to you. So now I'm taking my Ugly Duckling Striper 2. This brush is wonderful for creating long, long lines. And I am going in the middle of the vertical and horizontal sheer black lines that we created um, and adding a solid black line down the middle. Um, and I'm using Ugly Duckling number 43 gel polish. This black gel polish is wonderful super opaque and it can cover pretty much in one coat which is awesome cures beautifully and it's great for art so here i am going in that first horizontal sheer black line and just adding that nice thin uh, line down the center i'm going to do it up at the top now too near the cuticle and once i'm happy with that and i've got it all complete i'm going to pop it in the lamp for a full cure Now I'm taking that same striper 2 brush and I've loaded it with Ugly Duckling number 14. This color is a beautiful, beautiful white gold um, shimmer, I guess. It's not quite a sparkle. I mean, it is sparkly, but it's uh, fine enough that you can do line work with it. So it's one of my favorites. It's one of my must-haves for sure. I am doing a vertical line and I'm going to do a horizontal line near the vertical and horizontal sheer black lines that we painted and I'm going to pop it in a lamp for a full cure. 
once I am happy with where the lines are and how many I have on there. Now we're going to seal with matte, pop it in the lamp for a full cure. Once it's cured, we're going to wipe off that inhibition or tacky layer and your plaid nail is complete. Thanks so much for watching and as always, I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Hey, let's be social. Find me on Instagram at Natasha Harton.